E as a basic vocalization for tone production on the saxophone. When it comes to articulating in a bebop style, incorporating ghost notes, you need to have a level base from where you're starting in terms of your sound. I have found, and my students have benefited greatly by having an E type of tongue shape. If you think about the throat, from the back of the throat all the way to the point where the tongue contacts the teeth, you have this sort of open hose, right? And you can change the shape of the inside of that tube or hose based upon how you position the tongue. Some people think or have told me, and I used to believe this, you need to open your throat. What they're saying, suggesting, is like you need to be having like a hot air, like you're trying to fog glass, like <sighs> What that does is it creates sort of a reverse cone shape where front of your uh, tube, that is the throat all the way to where the tongue meets the teeth, is open. What happens is, is when you make that <sighs> the back of your tongue actually constricts the flow of air. So as the, as the air approaches the point where it's entering the mouthpiece, it's kind of obstructed by the back of the tongue. It's, it's not a focused type of air. If you think E, essentially having that sound in mind, like he or E, your, your sides of the tongue are touching basically the edges of your back teeth, and you create a shape where your your throat is kind of coming to a point as the air leaves the inside of the mouth and enters the saxophone. This allows your stream to sort of automatically be focused, and it also allows your tongue to be positioned in such a way that there's as little motion as possible between the tip of the tongue and where you're attacking the reed.